Curator Community Edition requires you to have a, a CentOS or Red Hat already installed. And CentOS is free, you don't require a license, which is not the case on, on Red Hat. So I'm going to show you, in case that you have never installed Linux, uh, I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to go uh, to do that. And the first thing that you need to do, if you Google download CentOS, you get to this page and you click on minimal ISO and you select the mirror server which you want to download uh, your image. I already did that. So let me go ahead and uh, start the installation. I click uh, a new VM. I'm going to drag the ISO image that I downloaded onto here and I click this is the one click continue and in here you specify which directory I want to put it I want to leave it uh, on that directory in my machine and now it's a matter of how much power you want to give the machine I'm going to give this uh, four cores and six gigabyte I think that you can install it with just four gigabyte but I think it's a little too little and um, so again uh, four cores six gigabyte let me see this space uh, this I like to give this 200 gigabyte uh, and since, since uh, only the space that is required gets allocated uh, then th that is fine with me I just want to make sure I don't run out of, uh, of this space I want to make sure I have a network adapter which is the case and we are ready to begin the actual installation I'm going to select the aux the first option the I for install I need to hit enter here for the installation to start You select the language. You need to go here in this area that says uh, installation destination to you know ensure that this is what you actually want and you click on done and the installation begins when you click on this button. It asks you to specify the root password. This is a demo system so I'm going to put a, an easy one that I can remember not very secure but for the sake of the demonstration is uh, good enough click on done and the installation begin I'm going to pause the video until it finishes installation finished and you need to click here to reboot the machine login root with the password that you specified and now what is left to do is to do the networking I mean, this machine has the adapter but it is not uh, configured so first we need to define the IP address uh, I'm using I'm not using the HCP and, and, and assigning uh, the 172.16.60 uh, subnet for uh, this uh, curator CE So VI is the editor that uh, comes by default in all Unix. This is no exception. I don't have nano here, which is what I normally use. Uh, but uh, this is, uh, I'll, I'll give you all the steps that you need to do. First, you need to go to that uh, subdirectory and edit the adapter that we added, uh, the, the NAT adapter that we added before. And the name, the old name for this thing used to be ET0, but now, it, I don't know why now it's called ENS33 so when you hit enter here you uh, edit that in VI all you need to do is type the word I for insert and you are ready to begin to add what you need and I'm gonna uh, delete a bunch of stuff I don't need here uh, and I will uh, show you the the few parameters that we require Okay, uh, 
now when the basically I deleted all those lines, left, left, left only this one and put the IP address, the fixed address, the, 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 the 12 and the subnet mask. And once you're ready with that, all you need to do is click escape and then colon. And then W for write, Q for quit, and the file is ready. Next thing is we need to edit another file to define the gateway, the host name. So and to do that, all we need to do is go to this network file under this uh, subdirectory. And there's nothing in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, put a few parameters that we need in here. So in this file, I specify the gateway, which is in case, uh, in my case, the dot two. I specify a, a name, curator of CE, and put networking yes. Once ready, all I need to do is click colon, write W, write uh, Q, and that file is ready. Now let's use VI one more time. Hopefully it's going to be my last, I'm not a VI guy. And um, we're going to use, we now need to specify the DNS resolver. And to do that, we're actually going to go to uh, the etc directory and edit the resolve.conf file. So once again, I for insert, and we're going to add the name server, the name server with uh, my uh, current gateway. So again, escape, column, wq, and we are ready. We need to restart the network for all these parameters to actually take effect. And we do that by issuing this command, network restart. And we are good. By the way, a small mistake I made, I left this parameter that was by default on boot equal no instead of yes. I changed that, restarted the network, and now I have uh, I can ping the world. Okay, now one thing that I want to do right away is install nano get along very well with VI and, and that also proves that I have the connectivity because this package needs to be downloaded so your uh, L Linux CentOS is ready to install Curator CE.